medal in the cultist arts. Kidnapped and held hostage by some railings. That can't be good news, can it? Oh, it's the old kidnapped and held hostage by some railings card. That's good. That means you are going to get a new puppy. Like, it's not going to be that, is it? Well, actually, we've looked into it, and this symbolises, this card is called the Eight of Swords. And it symbolises feeling trapped and restricted, perhaps by your own convictions, self-imposed barriers that can be shed with an open mind. Do you feel trapped? Are you in a state of anxiety and fear? And can you remove the blindfold to become free? I'm interested, I suppose, in the intuitive reactions one might have to tarot, particularly as I move into a more clearly delineated spiritual space with a more clearly ordained path, i.e. a lot of Christians would say that tarot and even yoga is a kind of heresy. What's your personal view on that? Do you still use stuff like this and the I Ching? Do you still look out for symbols and signs as you move further down a particular pathway? One thing for sure that when you get something like that it does serve as a tool for reflection and personal analysis because yeah I do feel that if I remove the blindfold or let the scales fall from my eyes I would see more clearly what the path is you know I read today I think on Hallo and you know it's a, an app that I use for meditation it's absolutely beautiful that if you focus on God that is all you have to do God will do everything else. Now, you hear stuff like that and it sort of makes a bit of sense, doesn't it? You think, well, all right, so what am I actually worried about now? I'm worried about this attack. I'm worried about this aspect of my family life or this aspect of my personal partnership. You know, like, how do I focus on God? Well, I suppose what that means is I have faith. I trust. I remove the blindfold and see that the pathway of God is the only pathway for me. God is in charge of my relationship. God is in charge of my working life. And I know what God's principles are. Service, kindness, faith, trust, hope, charity, gratitude, acceptance, surrender. You know, so if I'm not doing that stuff, oh, well, is that eight swords? Let's just say that one weren't there. Then, you know, if I'm not doing that stuff, then no wonder I'm feeling anxious. What do you think about that? And are you happy with hybrid modalities where you're able to meddle in occultist arts? I mean, that's, is that a pentagram? I'm not sure what kind of star that is, but there's some questions. Are you happy to use hybrid models from woo to Q, as I heard Duncan Trussell once say?